Hello, I am back, Thorison, with you on the absent spaces. It's very good to be back here in the Thorison. Um, yeah, it's been been a couple of months, um, but it's felt felt longer. If I'm honest with you, um, I felt like an eternity, you know, being uh, being away from from all of this, you know. So I miss this. Um, but yes, yeah, so the reason I was gone is the fact that you know I've moved to England. For, for this job, for this marketing job. Um, been working on NFTs as well. Um, won't get too much into that. Um, I have been busy, um, busy with real busy stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's good to have the time to be to be back here doing this because this is this is what I love. This is what I love sharing the the music and the the good vibes you know um and the smoothness and the sexiness and the stashiness um i've grown a beard um started to anyway it's pretty sweet right what do you think yeah it's not good is it nah all right let's uh, get it off might take a while, um, so I'll probably 
just skip forward to when I'm done with this. All right, well, that feels good. Clean shaved. It's nothing like it. Nothing like that feeling. Oh, man, what a time to be alive. Um, so, yeah, that was um, updates on my beard situation. Stash isn't going anywhere, obviously. Um, in other news, I've got a release of my own coming soon. Uh, 29th of April with Siri Lynn. I'm very excited for that. But this isn't about me. This is about other artists. Artists that I adore and we adore. Um, first of which is Essie. Um, I, I, I've never hidden the fact that I am biggest biggest fan of of Essie and she actually released this song in uh, December it's been, so it's been out for a for a few months but I wanted to share it because it is well like anything and everything that she does it's absolutely brilliant so here is dance floor by Essie I've been dancing with your demons you can't hear me when I'm screaming me burn like all your crosses uh. You say all the right things I'm walking on strings Come cut me loose If you gotta take me out tonight Better look me dead in the eyes If you gotta kill me So good, right? Um, I, I feel like she, Essie, has a knack of, you know, getting that perfect mixture of modernness and retro elements. Um, so she's got like, um, I mean, her voice is absolutely beautiful. And she, she's got like this tight production going on, um, which, you know, it's can't fault it at all. And that snare, you know. The snare is beautiful. And just a quick word on the, the bassists. 
mustache. Um, pretty good, I must say. So, yeah, fair play all around to everyone involved in that beautiful, beautiful song, Dance Floor by, by Essie. Um, she's got a new release coming, actually, on the, the 15th of, of April. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, follow her on her socials and and be, you know, be in the know on, on future Essie stuff because I guarantee you it is it is worth it. Um, she's worth checking out. Um, okay, so next song comes from London. Very close to myself. Um, this is an artist that I've recently discovered called um, Call Me Loop. Um, and, you know, I love a good synth pop track, you know, the, the pure, the pure, happy kind of feel good synth pop, um, love that stuff. And Call Me Loop is an absolute master of that. Came across her a a couple of years ago, actually, I think. And, and this one, her, her most recent one, uh, released in January this year called Year of the X. Let's check it out. So I'm just gonna say it. All right. Any song that has a tennis music video is a guaranteed success. Um, all right. That's that was badminton. All right. It was badminton. But you know, nevertheless, it's. I guess we'll put badminton in that bracket um, of songs that are, you know, gonna make it. So, tennis or badminton videos, you know you've got an absolute banger there, and that is what that is, uh, the year of the X. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Call me Lip. Uh, check her out on her socials. All right, so moving on to my final pick for tonight, um, and that comes from our very good friends from the Synth Fam, Jacket and Grey Stars. Um, Jacket is someone who I just just love. I love everything that he does. Um, he is one of the best producers that that I know personally. So yeah, not not really heard anything that that hasn't been a ten out of ten from from the guy. And um, Grey Stars is from a band called A um, Dollar Underwater, and he's recently gone on his own venture. You know, they're still keeping up the Dollar Underwater. Um, but but he's gone on on this own journey, and for a first um, collaboration, this is this is a big one. Um, he's he's a brilliant singer. Um, he's he's just brilliant at at what he does, and he's a, he's a great guy. They're both actually fantastic, fantastic guys. I you know it's a pleasure to to share this from from them. Um, Take my light, and just a purely purely synth wave feel going on there and you know you can't go wrong with that you just cannot go wrong with take my light let's check it out
a lot of emotion going on there. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, well done, Jacket and Grey Stars on, on that release. So that brings us to the end of my section here. Um, hope you enjoyed these three songs. Um, I'm sure Serena and, and Jake have got some amazing choices. Maybe they've already done theirs, actually. We're doing this in parts, you see. So we're trying this new thing. Maybe they've already mentioned it, actually. I don't know. That's the, the tricky part of this, but I'm going to speak about it anyway. It's um, it's a new format, basically. And it's like, um, I do my stuff, you know. Jake does his stuff, and Serena does her stuff. Pretty cool, if you ask me. It's, um, I feel like I'm talking to myself. I know I'm talking to you, but like, I'm just looking at my phone, and I feel like I'm speaking to a mirror. Hi, Thorison. Yeah, it's weird. All right. Well, um, yeah, been been a pleasure, pleasure being back, an absolute, you know, honor being on, on the absent theme. It's it's always a pleasure. I've said pleasure so much, man. Fuck. I might edit these out, or I might not. Pleasure, 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 pleasure. Yeah. All right. Well, um, it. <laughs> I was gonna say pleasure again. <laughs> um yeah I'll, I'll catch you soon I'll, I'll be around from from now um doing doing these segments um doing we'll be doing our stream yards as well and catching up and we'll be in- introducing some new exciting segments into mm, into absinthe so definitely stay tuned for more um thank you for being with us on the journey and as always stay smooth stay stashy and stay sexy Hey everyone, I'm Jake Griffiths. For those of you I haven't met, I present Electrodrome. It's the electronic music show on Radio Wigwam. It goes out on Thursdays at 9 p.m. UK time, 4 p.m. New York time. I uh, hope you can join us one week. It also goes up on Listen Again on Mixcloud for those of you for whom 9 p.m. Thursday, 4 p.m. Thursday is not convenient. Uh, it has been a busy couple of months for me. I've been a little quiet uh, recently and um, Part of that is that I've moved house, so I've moved all my gear across. This is the new room I'm presenting Electrodrum from every week. It's great to have a dedicated space for, for music. I've also been busy with my artist project that's called The West View. It's more kind of guitar orientated, vocal guitar orientated than the kind of stuff I play on, on Electrodrum every week, but it's been amazing to be releasing music through that again. I've had a couple of incredible remixes, one from Eno from Berlin who I play on the show quite regularly, a uh, really great pop electronic artist. Uh, he has a, a side project called Sorry the Hedgehog and has done an amazing big beat, uh, ghetto funk style version of one of my tracks. That's been really fun to release. I'm gonna talk a bit about the Westview later on. Uh, I've also had a great remix from Timo at Montage Collective, kind of dreamy 90s style remix. And uh, I'm gonna be featuring one of Timo's projects. Uh, it's called Sonar 4 also um also today so that's that's definitely kept me busy uh, and then this week i had the real honor of being a guest moderator for fresh on the net fresh on the net is uh tom robinson who is one of the big new music people on bbc six music in the uk uh really well respected new music uh new music person he has a team who effectively listen through 200 submissions every week which is a huge number of tracks uh, so asked me to come and do that for uh, for this week. And I learned a lot doing it. It's been a really instructive process. If you're ever submitting tracks to that kind of service where people are listening through, I mean, I, I li- listened to 11 hours of music over three days. And obviously there's a lot of things you've got to kind of pay attention to and, and be conscious of while you're doing that, particularly how worn out your ears get when you're listening to track after track that you don't know. So that was a super interesting thing to do. There were some brilliant tracks produced uh, last week out of the 200, I had to select my top five. Uh, So five out of the 200 and then some additional picks. So it was about 25 in total that I selected. 
and was really fun to do, really enjoyed the process uh, and found some, some great music which I featured on Electrodrome on, on this week's uh, radio show, which is, has been fun to do as well. The, the first track I want to talk about is uh, Max Cooper. Uh, Max Cooper is, uh, I'm a huge fan of his, and his new project, uh, his new album, which is called Unspoken Words, is a really interesting one in that every single track includes video content or a, a video produced and directed specifically for the track. I talked about Max on one of the previous Absinthe shows and one of the things I really love about the way he produces his work is he really closely interlinks audio and visual. And you see that in his videos, but you also see that when you go and see him live. When I saw him live in Norwich Arts Centre, it's a very small venue, but he had these incredible 3D projections going on on all of the walls around you. And even though it's small, it was still super impressive. More recently, he's done some huge gigs at places like the Acropolis, where he's really making the most of the environment around him. So the new album is called Unspoken Words. I'm going to play a track called Spectrum. The, the video is by a director called Christian Stangle. So really interesting concept. I didn't look up any of this, by the way, before I first watched it. But this video uh, is very cleverly done. Originally, originally, I thought maybe it was CGI or animation or something or just image, clever image manipulation. What it actually is, is kind of macro, very close up photography of, of an opal. And Christian says his father collects rough crystal opals and makes them into polished gemstones. He has the play of colour on them, has a really mesmerising effect. And he says looking inside an opal is almost like a window into another universe, which I think is, is really true. And he's used a special lens attachment to get really close into the stone, projecting tiny moving pictures onto the surface of the stones and really bringing them to life in a special way. It's a, it's a great effect, it looks amazing on the video, suits the music really, really well. I would say this is a classic Max Cooper track. So if you like this, you will love other Max Cooper stuff. Check it out, this is called Spectrum.
It is great to have Floating Points back releasing music. Uh, they released, or he released an album in 2019 called Crush. Floating Points is an artist called Sam Shepard. He releases under, under Floating Points. And Crush was a, it was a really big album here in the UK. I'm not sure how far it traveled internationally, but certainly people really loving the combination of composition. There's some dance and electronica influences in there. And then all recorded on very complex looking old school modular synthesis, which gives this really kind of natural, um, <clears throat> really natural organic sound to it. And since 2019 and doing Crush, there was also an album recorded with the London Symphony Orchestra. I think it's a 45, 46 minute piece where the synthesis and, and real classical instruments playing together it's a little bit less my kind of style, but I know it was hugely critically well received, really well loved piece of music. And then more recently, it's been great to see Floating Points releasing more under the electronic synthesis style again. I've played a couple of recent tracks on Electrodrome. Uh, one is called Vocoder, one's called Grammar. And those, they're fun. They're, they're more uplifting, dancey kind of tracks. Now there's no videos for them that I can see at the moment. I will be bringing one to Absinthe as soon as, as, soon as I can. But what I'm gonna do, I'd, I'd love to play a bit of Floating Points live, recorded in 2019. This is from a venue called Printworks, uh, which is by the river in, in London. Amazing venue, really huge, warehousey kind of space. Uh, originally recorded by Resident Advisor. The track you're gonna hear is called ARP3. It's quite long, so we might do a little bit of editing, but I think this will give you a general idea of what Floating Points sounds like and a great example of how this music is played live as well. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
I'm going to talk about an artist that's very close to my heart who I feel like I've known through the radio show for some time. He's been an artist that we've played on Electrodrome really from the start of the show uh, probably about three years ago. He's probably been producing music for a lot longer than that but uh, certainly has produced some great stuff during the time I've been doing the radio show. He's also a radio wigwam favourite and often features in awards and the things that the, the radio station overall does. And that's Timo Jalkinen, who runs uh, Montage Collective. So you'll often see him remixing under that name or releasing original material under that name and has produced some, some really great stuff. He's prolific as well, so has produced a lot of music and the quality is strong. Even though he's, he's releasing a lot, he's producing a lot, he's certainly doing a great job of, of releasing great tracks. Uh, he has a new project called Sonar 4, a little bit more of a collaboration with uh, a former met member of Static Icon, uh, Warren Bullock, and the two of them have been writing together. Sonar 4 is a little bit more of a different direction to Montage Collective, uh, a little bit more on the sort of 80s darker electronica side. And this particular track I'm going to play is remixed by another Electrodrome artist uh, who, if another artist who features really regularly on the show again prolific and I feel as though uh, again a, an artist that's been on the show kind of concurrently in terms of timing over the last three or four years and that's fused Mark Kendrick who just produces at a very high level and has I've seen evolve uh, every single time he puts out a new release I feel like the production gets even better. I know he spends a lot of time looking at how he produces artwork, different types of physical release, uh, the ways in which the releases are structured, the influences, which is all super impressive. And I love, I love it when an artist goes really deep on a format or a, a, a type of release. And I was really pleased to see these two artists collabor collaborating together. Uh, Mark Fuse does a great job of uh, of remixing, always really punchy production. I really love the way he produces uh, for other people when he remixes their tracks. This has got a great video too. I think you're going to enjoy it. This is Sonar 4. It is an exclusive Fused remix. I hope you like it.
Outrageous and talk about some of my own music for a bit. My artist project is called The West View. It's really 90s influenced uh, guitar, a little bit of synth in there, uh, but guitar and vocals. And I had a really big release uh, for The West View over the last couple of months. It's called Never Tell Me the Odds. If you're a Star Wars fan, you will recognize the title The Odds of Escaping a the odds of successfully navigating an asteroid field are approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds, that's a Han Solo line from The Empire Strikes Back. I thought it was too good a title not to steal. Please don't tell uh, George Lucas or anybody at Disney. I think uh, they might not be best pleased, but hopefully they haven't placed some kind of trademark on it. And although that is the title, it's not a song about Star Wars. <laughs> Good, thankfully. Uh, it is a song that is influenced by a couple of things, really. One is that when I was writing the song, The West View was a three-piece band, and there were three of us. I was vocals and, and guitar, uh, a good friend Mark uh, playing drums, and our friend Aaron on bass. And Aaron, at the time, uh, he has, well, now he's sadly passed away around a year ago. He had quite advanced stomach cancer when he was playing with us. And I think one thing I found really inspirational about him was that he was so positive about life and what he was going to get out of life. And I felt like he had people telling him all the time how long he had, what the odds were of certain things happening or not happening. And I wanted to capture a little bit of that feeling in the track. So it's certainly lyrically dedicated to Aaron and his outlook on life and the way he handled that particular situation, which was a, a, a really difficult one for him. And I also wanted the track sonically though, to be uplifting, not to be a, a sad track about that particular situation. So it's, it's influenced by some of the really big tracks that were used on a show called Match of the Day in the UK in the 90s. Match of the Day is our weekly football highlights programme and I can probably tell I'm already losing some of you. <laughs> but bear with me, bear with me. And one of the things they did 
and they still do, is they do a great job of bringing together uplifting big rock tracks, sort of indie rock tracks, and, and the highlights of the games. And that's always been really beautifully produced. The BBC does a lovely job of creating great sports coverage. And I really wanted to do something that reflected those great tracks and had some of that style. One of the tracks, most famous ones, is called The Life of Riley by The Lightning Seas. It's a lovely piece of uplifting, it's a synth-infused pop. Go and look it up if you don't know it. There's another famous one called Dreams by The Cranberries, which I'm sure you know. Again, great uplifting 90s track, beautiful melody, really kind of four to the floor style to them. And I wanted the track to have some of that kind of element to it. So that's that's kind of where it went sonically. And then the only other thing to say about it, and I realise I've already said quite a lot, is that there are some great remixes of this track. So I talked about Timo Jalkinen from Montage Collective. He's put a great Montage Collective remix of Never Tell Me The Odds Out. That's That was released a couple of weeks ago. Really great work, lovely dreamy version of the track. I really enjoyed what he did with it. Uh, really kind of adds to the 90s feel of it. And then uh, Eno from Berlin, uh, who remixes as Sorry the Hedgehog, has done this wonderful, bonkers, a breakbeat, uh, big sort of breakbeat, big beat, ghetto funk, whatever you want to call these. Chop the whole thing up, loads of build ups, breakdowns, great, really great detailed vocal work. And I absolutely love what he has done with the track. So go and look that up. It's the Westview, Never Tell Me the Odds, Sorry the Hedgehog remix or Montage Collective remix if you want to look those up. And then the release itself was just to put, put together as two maxi singles. So one with the remixes. And then there's one with a couple of B-sides, one called In The May Time and another one, which is a cover of Robin's With Every Heartbeat, which is the track we played a lot as a, a three piece band. We really love playing, makes a great rock track and one of my favourite styles of music, that kind of sad, uplift, sad but uplifting disco track uh, is a style that I really love and it was really fun to, to record that as a band. So this video you're about to see was kind of, I wouldn't say it was found footage because I knew I had it. It wasn't like I suddenly found it on a, on a card somewhere or a, on a hard drive, but uh, it was recorded in 2020. We put, I just brought a load of cameras along to a rehearsal room while we were rehearsing this track. And I just put them in the corners of the room, more to be honest, because I wanted to see whether it would even be possible to record us and get a decent recording of us playing together. And to be honest, when I got it back, I hadn't really done a particularly good job of <laughs> putting all the footage together. So I kind of ignored it for a couple of years. And then obviously, you know, with Aaron passing away, I didn't want to, I, I didn't feel, didn't really feel right to release it around that time. But it feels right to release it now. And this has shots of Aaron playing bass with us. It's also got some, some great shots of us actually recording the track. We went to a studio called North Acre Studios in Cambridge. Uh, Cambridgeshire, great producer called Jake Day, who is part of one of the bigger Cambridgeshire bands. They're called Tom Lumley and the Brave Liaison. And it's a really lovely memory for me of us playing the track together. The, foot, the, the film came out pretty well. It required some editing to get it to this this kind of point, it still feels pretty rough and ready. It's certainly not a professional job by any means, but it's it's natural and it, it feels good to have a memory of us playing this track together in, in a rehearsal room where we spent a lot of time. It was also a, a strange time because we were recording in the sort of lockdown periods and there were no gigs that we could play. So we just used to play these tracks and get them together with the, with the aim of recording them really. So this is called Never Tell Me The Odds. It's by The Westview. I hope you like it. Yeah. Okay, cool. I might get a bit lost on the intro. All right, just give it a go. Okay, cool. Okay. Right, ready? Okay. One, two, three, four.
Never tell me the odds Never tell me the odds 